but to be honest i really want to say my dm <laughs> And welcome back everybody before we start i just want to be clear i worked in the wireless industry for 16 years and a total of about 13 years at t-mobile i left in 2020 right before covid uh before the covid lockdown i left because i wasn't happy but to be honest i really want to say my dm was now as you're watching this apple started the pre-orders on iphone 14 models for many of us we're just upgrading our phones for others it's our chance to switch carriers. We've heard everything from the fastest 5G network, the best 5G coverage. So I wanted to put to the test which works best for me. I'll run through some like the usual speed test, um, see how long it takes YouTube to load up videos. Now, let's see what each carrier has to offer for the same price range on a single line. I'm gonna start with Verizon. For $70, you get the 5G start plan. It requires paper-free billing, auto pay, uh, through either a bank account, debit card, or the Verizon Visa card. After taxes, my bill was about $74.08. With this, you get unlimited 5G access, but your speed are slowed down when you, in, in, in heavy traffic. 5 gigabytes of premium hotspot, and you'll get access to these streaming services. Activation was pretty easy. Uh, you put in the information, run the credit check, put your IMEI number, and they'll activate through the eSIM, so it's activated right away. Um, there was a $35 activation fee, and that came on the first month's bill. Now on to T-Mobile. Uh, for $70, is the Magenta plan. Taxing fees included with auto pay. Now the auto pay could be anything. It could be a credit card, uh, checking account, debit card. So you're not restricted like Verizon is. You get 100 gigabyte of premium data, which means you're not throttled until after 100 gigabytes. You get 5 gigabytes of high-speed hotspot and access to these entertainment packages for at least 6 months. Now on T-Mobile, I did not go through the activation process. Um, I was an existing customer. And I believe on this one, I looked it up online. I think they're not charging the SIM starter kit online. In the store, you might have to charge. Now finally, AT&T. For $65, you get the AT&T starter plan with auto pay. Uh, tax and fees, my bill came out to be $71.28. It includes 5G access, uh, but slow down if the network is busy. Three gigabytes of hotspot, high speed, Activation took about an extra day or two. Um, had to go through the verification process. So about two or three days after is when I got the SIM card. Now the details of this test, I will be taking the iPhone 12 Pro Max. I'm using it on each carrier. I'm, I am outside Memorial City Mall. I got all the phones lined up here. You got T-Mobile on the left, Verizon in the middle, and then AT&T on the end. Let's go ahead and lock them. Pretty much most of them are pretty much decently charged. You know it's a speed app. So there you go. All of them displaying 5G. T-Mobile's done, Verizon just got done, and AT&T is just still not running the test. I'll run one more test after this. So I'm gonna hit test again here. AT&T is finally able to run and actually has the fastest speed out of all three. So I'm going to do one more. Ryzen finished last on this one. So one more test. So 
first place out of all three tests. Um, AT and T, and then T Mobile, and then Verizon. Let's go ahead and uh, I'll do a quick YouTube. See how long it takes to load the video. First place on speed would be AT&T on this test, second T-Mobile, and Verizon coming in last. Now I'm now at the next location a few hours later. I'm in a parking lot in a, a Kroger parking lot in Katy. Uh, come here quite a few times a week. That's the location. So these are the phones. Alright, so I got the same setup as earlier, Verizon on the left, T-Mobile in the middle. AT&T on the right Test number two, and we're gonna do <clears throat> we're gonna do a third test right now. All of them loaded YouTube just fine. Alright, we are at our final uh, test location, which is in Katy, Texas. I'm at a Target parking lot. 
this place I know from personal experience that I have a lot of trouble with with T-Mobile. So I wanted to test the other carriers and see if this would be better for me at this location. Uh, new to my wife, we frequent Target all the time. So just to see on the map. <coughs> Got the phone set up here. AT&T will be on the left, T-Mobile in the middle, and Verizon on the right. We'll hit the pop-up speed test. All of them are displaying 5G, except Verizon. Verizon is displaying LTE. I'll go into settings and make sure that 5G is on. G is on. So let's go ahead and get it on as well. Go ahead and, uh, I'll go ahead and put on airplane mode and put it back on. Still not catching 5G. Still on LTE. Alright, so we're gonna start the test. That was the third test. Now, let's go ahead and switch over to YouTube. pretty well that is the last and final this is gonna be the last and final test I do so I was kind of surprised by the results of the test having been a T-Mobile customer for many years I didn't I didn't think it would do this well I really expected more from Verizon also but then again I don't live in an area where their 5G ultra wideband uh, is available AT&T also did better than what I thought it would do um, honestly I just I didn't want T-Mobile to do this well, uh, kind of frustrations of being a long-time customer. But other than that, um, just a reminder that everyone's going to have their own experience uh, based on their plan and where they live. Hope you guys are able to find what works best for you and have a good one.